All right, thanking the Lord for so much. Hope everybody's doing well on this beautiful day. God bless you. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to give a special shout out to you too, Mitty Man. Uh, sent your email last night, and uh, giving a great shout out to you because your uh, video you did was for me. And uh, I thank God for you, brother. How we all need each other. The sad thing is, so many fight against each other because you got so many fake people and. You know, they always want to come at you with everything. And uh, I want to say in this video, the closer you get to God, the closer Satan moves in on you. The closer that you get to God, the closer Satan moves in on you. I don't know why people think it's the other way around. I'm here to tell you, if you are living for God, being a Christian, Christ-like, I ain't say religious, I said following Christ. The more people are going to come up against you, the more that devil moves in on you because now the devil know that. You notice when you was working for the devil, you didn't really, you wasn't really worried about nothing because everything was lining up. But soon as you pick up your cross, all hell break loose from the ones you thought would be on your side. Yeah. So the closer you get to God, the closer Satan moves in on you. Now Satan got to try to get you back on his side. Satan don't like losing people either. God don't want no one to perish. And I, I came off kind of hard in that video, man. That's why your video was confirmation to me, brother. That's why I sent you that email. And I, see, real friends like you, man, and, and, and K-Ray, we check each other. And PP Drawings, we, we check each other when we get out of line. And that's what you was doing, man, man in that video. You gave me a self-check, and I love that. I love that because I'm glad we don't all agree on everything because if we all was agreeing, something ain't right, is it, brother? So I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart because, yeah, sometimes, man, I get to that mode where, you know, I I feel like I need to say certain things, but you so right, brother. And uh, that's why I always say the closer that we get to God, the closer the devil moves in on you. I can't speak for nobody else, brother, but I will say this. It ain't never got easy for me. Mm -mm. It gets harder and harder. Now, here's the trick. I'm not talking about the people in the world. I'm talking about these religious folks. That's what get harder for me. I don't have no problem with these folks in the world. It's the more, the closer I get with God, the closer I get with God is the more problem I have is with God's people. Just like Christ did. He always had a problem with the Pharisees. I, I can't figure out why we got so many Pharisees in these churches. I'm giving a great shout-out to my girl, Sister Jackson, in this video. I was just talking to her at church yesterday morning. We we was talking about this same thing. She said, why is it that people that say they love God so much who claim to be Christians is the ones that's not doing God's will? They can't even do what they need to do. And I said, it ain't nothing new under the sun, is Sister Jackson. I said, that's the same problem Jesus was having with those hypocrites. And they supposed to knew everything. See, it's a difference when you don't practice what you preach, ain't it, brother? That's why I wanted to come back and do this video, and I give you a great shout-out, man. And that's why the word for this morning is, the more you get closer with God, the more that devil rides in on you. He riding your back twice as hard now because he don't want you to get off his team. He wants you to stay on his team. He know the word. This is why I tell people the devil know the word. The more you pray, the more you praise, the more you press, that devil is right on you doing the same thing. We forget, don't we, many men, that Satan knows that worship. Satan knows those prayers. He know how to pray. He know how to worship. He know how to praise. He was right there with God. That's why I was making my little statements in them videos because it amazes me how many, so, so many haters on her, they come at me with all that mess. And when I look on, like when I said the word ass, it was a problem to a whole lot of folks. And when I go on their profile, they got all kind of cussing and they favorites is rap music with cussing in it. But they sit here and want to criticize me and tell me that, oh, I don't serve, I don't like your guy. Your guy. You sit there and said the word ass, but you sitting here with rapping, cussing all on your page. Or your favorite video is, 
Bernie Mac or Steve Harvey when they cuss. But you sit here and, and say that, oh, Steve Harvey and them, and they, and they ain't no, ain't, and they ain't saved, and ain't nothing God left out there. See, this is what hypocrites do. That's why I laugh at them, bro. And I always want to say that the closer that I know I get with God, the closer I get with God, the more the devil gets close to me and try to do everything he can to move me out of. See, this is why I keep it real on her. I keep it real on her. And people don't understand it. This is why I say in these videos, my videos ain't for religious people. Because JT is not religious. I'm spiritual. You need to learn the difference. It is a big difference. Trust me, people. Let me say this loud and clear. It is a big difference between being spiritual and religious. Jesus was not religious. Religion didn't have nothing to do with God. It was relationship. It was covenant with God. It was relationship with Jesus. It's compassion with Jesus. Jesus wasn't here condemning. It was love. Peace. Understand it. We done took Jesus and made Jesus religious all of a sudden. We done, I don't know what is mess. I mean, it just done got all out of hand, bro. People get mad at me when I say I'm in the spiritual category. I'm not over in the holy and die category. Them folks ain't never done nothing wrong. Like I was addressing some of these folks on here. They ain't never done nothing wrong. And they want to sit up and pinpoint you in your videos and tell you everything you're doing wrong. It's a whole lot of them on her like that, bro. And I laugh at them because they're a joke. I still love them anyway, though. They doing what they supposed to do. Let me say something, people. This is how you know you're always on the right track when you got more people against you. When you follow when God, don't expect a whole lot of people to follow with you. This is why I'm all in the category by myself and with the YouTube family. If it ain't in the YouTube family on here most of the time, it's not gonna, people ain't going to agree with us because we are not religious. When you look at PP drawing comments, you don't want to hear them because they true. When you look at pop comments, you don't want to hear them. That's why somebody didn't like the video Papa did probably, nigga, please. They're going to see the title and they, gonna, they don't even want to look at it because <laughs> it's going to hurt. See, that's how the Bible does us, doesn't admit it, man. It hurts. So the closer people, I'm going to say this again in this video, the closer you get to God, the closer the devil gets to you. He going to do all he can to throw something at you. And if he can't get at you, he going to come at your wife. If he can't get at your wife, he going to come at your children. He going to come in your children. If he can't get at you through your children, he going to get at you through the religious folks. If he can't see that ain't working, he going to come at you and your brother, your uncle, some kind of way the devil is going to come at you. Because to me, the devil ain't nothing but a coward. I say that with proudness and boldness. The devil ain't nothing but a coward. He get other people to come at you with his evil spirit. That's why he will be stripped down quick and fast. I ain't scared of the devil. And I sure ain't scared of you damn religious people. And I be real when I say that because I'm sick of religious people. When you look at Jesus' whole ministry, it was not the sinners he had a problem with. Never. He came to love the sinner, to embrace the sinner, to have compassion for the sinner and to check the Pharisees. And that's what I be trying to get folks to see. Jesus never was religious. Let's say this again, many man. Jesus was invited to the parties with the sinners. The sinners invited Jesus to the parties. They let me know my Savior was fun to be around. They let me know in these parties, I wasn't there. Ain't no telling what was going on because, first of all, ain't nothing new under the sun. These sinners could have been getting drunk. They could have been doing a whole lot of stuff. They could have been sleeping around. And people got the nerve to walk around there and say, Jesus wouldn't go to certain places. I don't know where y'all get that from. A sinner commits sin, and it don't matter what they sin is. They let me know Jesus could have... Let's fast forward in our day's time. They let me know Jesus would have went on the block. Hustlers, ballers, gangsters. Jesus would have went on the block. Jesus would have went up in the club. It wouldn't have mattered to Jesus. Because he had to go where he had to go. And he reached people that you thought he wouldn't reach. That's why I always liked the one when he healed the, the, the men, the ten men with the leap, with the leapers. The leapers. Jews and Samaritans didn't even get along, and Jesus was a Jew. Jesus didn't even have to. Do what he did with that Samaritan. And here, here, here's the thing I catch out of that whole story. That Samaritan was the only one that 
Looked like the only one to come back and give Jesus all the glory and the praise because Jesus healed that man. Now, if Jesus was religious, he wouldn't even heal that man. If Jesus was religious like you holding and down folks do and want to put everybody in hell, he would have condemned that woman at the well. He would have condemned a lot of folks, but we see that he didn't condemn them. He had compassion for them. Where is our compassion at? This is why I can listen at people cuss. This is why I can listen at the drunk man. This is why I can talk to the prostitute. See, I keep telling folks on her, my page is not for you religious people. I'm going to say this in this video. If you are religious, don't look at my videos. They ain't for you. They really ain't. They for the spiritual category. They for the people who keep it real, the people who know that they got faults. They shortcomings, which is all of us. What I love about people on her on the YouTube family, they admit it. That's why I keep it real. Yeah, I let out a cuss word every now and again. Yeah, I got to repent for certain things. Yes, I'm going to drink my drink, but I'm not going to get drunk. Yes, I'm going to listen at my rap music. Yes, I'm going to listen at my R&B music. I ain't going to be stuck on gospel. See, this is what spiritual people do. You know why? Because the Lord also showed us you have to have balance. I'm going to say this again in this video. If I had to go to church all the time and I was no comedy, I was no bowling, no skating, no sports, a whole lot of other stuff, ain't no way I would make it, people. Because I would have a hard time going every day dealing with these hypocrites in these churches. Dealing with these lying pastors, dealing with these crooked deacons. See, we don't look at what's really going on in these churches, but we want to sit there and down, like many men, like you were saying about Brother Steve Harvey and how he reached back to grab others. See, we can't do no reaching back if we hold it and down, brother. Steve Harvey, Harvey, remember where he came from, and I like what he said in his old video when he was on T. I think he was on TBN. Steve Harvey said, "My real friends are the ones that's in the hood." My real friends are the ones that don't have a lot of money. He said, my real friends are the ones that everybody look down on, but my real friends are the ones that keeps it real. He said, my real friends ain't the church folks, and mine ain't either. Everybody pretty much that I know in these churches are fake. They ain't friends with me. They pretty much enemies. They hypocrites. They are against you, just like these haters on here. They are against you. So the closer you get to God, the closer Satan rides in on you. Satan don't want me to do these videos. Satan want me to fall down. These haters want me to fall down. I get comments like I'm tired of looking at you. They was tired of looking at Jesus. You ain't bothering me. They spit on Jesus. They put Jesus on the cross, the same ones who was praising him. So when I always go back to that, and let me know the more that I follow Christ, the more I'm going to have a problem with these church folks. I'm going to have a big problem with them. Seem like the sinners invited Jesus to everything, and the church folks didn't hardly invite him to nothing. And you wonder why Jesus' ministry was always on the outside. He was walking here and walking there. That's why when he wasn't being received, he kept on going. And that's what I try to do on her. When people don't receive these videos, I keep making another one and move on. They ain't for you. So to the religious folks, these videos ain't for you. Don't look at them. Now, if you want to keep on sending me negative comments, send them. But don't be mad when you get blocked off my page either. Amen? Yeah, amen, lights. Somebody, somebody catch that. Y'all take care and be blessed. JT ain't mad at nobody.